Hey fellow toy seekers, this is Elizabeth from The Toy Hoarder. I was thinking about this video and I said, well, how many Disney minifigs should I unbox? One, maybe two, maybe three, and then, you know, honestly, let's just do as many as they had at the store I bought them all. <laughs> okay, I have a problem, I know, but you guys knew that when you joined my channel, so it's okay, isn't it? I'm going to be opening 16 of the Disney minifigures from series two. There are 18 to collect. I also have one Lego minifigure from series 19 of the Lego minifigures. And I also have one Unikitty figure from Lego Unikitty. I want you to tell me in the comments which one, if you could only get one of the Lego minifigures, the regular minifigures you would get, and then put your answer in the comments. And then tell me which one if you could only get one of the Lego Unikitties, you would want to get uh, Unikitties or Unipuppies, I guess. Tell me which one in the comments. And then, of course, on the Disney ones, which one, if you could only have one, would you like most? I can potentially get 17 different Disney figures. So, how many different figures do you think I will get in this unboxing? The third question, how many do you think will be the maximum of duplicates I will get of any character. Put all your answers in the comments below. You can put it all in one comment. I love Disney and Lego and the Lego movie, so <laughs> who's ready, who's ready, who's ready? Okay, okay, I'm picking this one because I don't know, it feels lucky and I'll spend too much time deciding which one to pick. Okay, I'm gonna cut along this, wow, actually I cut pretty close to along that line without looking at it, so apparently it's kind of an intuitive line and I don't know what to tell you about that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, who do you guys think it's gonna be? Put that in the comments below. And we're gonna open him. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, I already know. It's Frozone from The Incredibles. So, we are going to assemble him. Okay, on this. Oh, cool, and now it spins. All right, that's awesome. Like this, yeah. Okay. Oh, and I'll put him on the little stand. Oh, that's so cool. And then, so you can see all the sides of him. Spin that around. That is super cool. I'm excited. Okay, so this is always the intensive part when you open the next one because you're really hoping it's not going to be the same one as the one that you have. What do you think we're going to get next? You can put that in the comments below if you would like to guess before I get this open. This one has a oh yay this is the one I was hoping to get you guys I got Jack Skellington. I love Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, one of my favorite films. I'm also a big Tim Burton fan. Oh this is exciting. Okay okay. It looks like he's got a different base his base is different than frozone's was so he doesn't spin but it looks like frozone was the only one who has that special base on the bottom uh maybe he's the limited edition figure was he a really rare one to get i'm not i don't know i don't know you guys but i'm excited about it okay oh this is so exciting i don't really know how well you guys can see this there we go focused a little better there and there are four of this, so I am going to assemble him. Oh, I'm so excited, you guys. I love blind bags, this is fun. There he goes. Oh, that is too adorable. Make a little present. Uh, the tails of a suit. So you're going to turn him around backwards and stick this on. Then when we put this back on, oh, that's so cool. I've never seen a cape that comes out of the body before. It kind of looks like he's wearing a skirt from the back. I don't know. I guess it's supposed to be his coattails, but it is a little bit odd. It doesn't connect to the base because there's only a single hole on the bottom. And then I've got two of the pegs right here. And this peg is too close to this side peg to be able to stick it on. So I can't actually do that, and I can't have him hold it because it's too big of a box. Okay, well, I guess you just kind of sit it near him, but it's still 
super cute and I'm gonna put one of the snowflakes down on the ground by him because I think that's adorable so here's what we have you guys look how cute this is and I know it's not focusing very well back up a little bit there we go okay so I'm gonna spin this around some trying not to get my fingers too in the way here it's mostly the same on all of those sides of the box there and then I'll show you from the top as well so you can see the little snowflake in there. That is so, so, so adorable. Okay, well, oh, we got two ice figures. So that's kind of interesting. I'm hoping for a Jasmine. I don't have any female characters, so maybe a Jasmine this time. What do you guys think? Probably not because I really mean I have a 1 in 18 chance. So, okay. Let's see what it is. And so, um, oh, it's a duck. Um, I don't know which one yet. Let's see. Oh, you guys, I feel bad about this, but I don't remember which one's which on Huey, Dewey, and Louie, so I'm not sure which one this is. And surprisingly enough, on these instruction sheets, it doesn't say the name of the character underneath it, which I kind of thought that it would. It's a little bit strange that that's not included I'm only just re recently starting to get into a lot of this newer Lego stuff and it is completely blowing my mind. All of these new pieces and crazy things. Um, there are architecture sets and there are... Sorry, I had to look how it connected. There are architecture sets and they... Oh, there's two slingshots. Oh, I guess you get an extra piece, but that's kind of awesome because he's going to have a double slingshot here. Um, there are Lego Technic sets, there are motorized sets, there are all sorts of crazy things. I think there are even remote control sets. I don't usually do too much with these bases. I have like a bucket full of bases from my minifigures because I don't really use bases. They stand pretty well on their own, to be honest, but there is either Huey, Dewey, or Louie. It is number four in the set, but he is super cute and super fun, and I am so excited that I have three different ones so far, you guys. It's going so well. Okay. All right. Next one. Who's ready? Who's ready? Who's ready? I'm ready. I'm <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Who do you guys think it's going to be? Oh, who are we hoping for? I think uh, I'm, I'm still hoping for a girl this time. We, we only have a couple girls in this set. We've got Jasmine, Elsa, Anna, and Sally. Oh, and Edna Mode. I guess Minnie Mouse, too. Um, so let's see if we can get one of the Disney women. Yay, we got another one of the ducks. Okay, again, I don't know which one it is, Huey, Dewey, or Louie. I was kind of hoping for the one that had the book. Um, this guy has, I don't know, it looks like a flashlight, maybe? We will assemble him and get him in our lineup. I'm gonna start doing this a little faster because I want this video to uh, not be too crazy long for you guys, even though I'm having a grand old time here. <laughs> okay. I'm not really sure which end this connects to. Uh, I guess this end. I'm, I'm not sure if it's a torch or a flashlight. In the photograph, he is holding it sort of up rather than out, which makes me think torch instead of flashlight. And then, I mean, I have my blue duck here with two slingshots, so I might as well get two either torches or flashlights, which now it kind of looks like there's uh, weights as well. So. That's kind of funny um, and fantastic. Oh, forgot about the stand. I'm really bad about that, you guys. I'm sorry. So I'm going to try to get it to focus. There we go. And now you can see him all the way around. That's so cool. Oh, do you, do you guys think that I will find the other red duck in these? Because that would be super awesome to have the whole set of them. I also kind of want this Mickey with the steering wheel because I think that's pretty cool. Okay, okay, okay. Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Okay, now I'm hoping for the red duck, but that would be a little bit crazy to get three ducks in a row, right? <laughs> get all your ducks in a line. Okay, no. That's, that's cheesy, you guys. Oh, it's a duck, but it's not the one we were hoping for, unfortunately. Okay, I am going to assemble him because, I mean, it's Legos and uh, I'm a toy hoarder. And, of course, I'm going to have a grand old time assembling all of these. So this is a repeat one. It is uh, the slingshot one. I really should have looked up what their names were before I did this video, but I got too overexcited and and then I was gonna do a separate video on you know do three or five per video 
guys. <laughs> We're doing them all right now, today, right here. It's happening. Okay, okay, okay. Who do you guys think is next? I think maybe it'll be Chipper Dale, so hopefully. Let's see. Oh, I got a Jafar. Ooh. Well, I guess I ruined the surprise. I'm sorry, I should have dumped it out and let you see it. See, now my minifigures that I lined up here are gonna be in the way of the video. All right, this one is stuck. Why? All right, I don't know. The bag was like glued into the bottom of the other bag for some reason. Let's see. Get his cape in here. Is the cape supposed to be the red side up or black side up? I don't remember what color his cape was. I'm gonna put it red side up because that sounds cool to me. <gasps> yes, okay, Jafar has a double face here, you guys. There we go. Now you can see it. He's got this face and the angry face. I really wish they had done that on Jack Skellington, but they didn't, sadly. What's this piece? Oh. All right. I will make this one the other face, and now he's still a different Lego, so it's all good. Let me make sure I don't put his... Now, when you're, when you're putting this piece on, the triangle piece that sticks out goes in the back. It's supposed to be the end of his cape. Aw, oh, cool. Alrighty. I'm about to bring this up a little closer so you guys can see. So here is Jafar. Spin him all the way around so that you can see all of his adorable details. Oh, that's exciting. That's exciting. Okay. Next one's going to be a surprise for um, you and I at the same time. I'm not going to peek first. I'm sorry. Okay. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Okay. Uh-oh. I see a cape. Oh no, I got two of the same in a row. I was really hoping that wouldn't happen. But it's still a little bit fun. I don't, I don't know what my problem is. I don't need three Jafar figures, but I need them. You know what I mean? I'm going to assemble this guy real quick. I'm going to put him black cape side up just to make him a little bit different from the other guy. And I guess I, I lost the cape on the other Jafar figure. Uh, the, I told you I got him from someone else. All right. I am not going to show this one up close spinning because, ow. Oh, I think I was trying to uh, put it too high up on there. I'm not going to spin this one up close because I just showed you guys that a few minutes ago, but I'm going to set him over here and we're going to open another one. Okay. Hopefully not a Jafar. Hopefully a character we don't have. That would be fun. Okay. Let's see who it is. Are you guys ready? 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 Uh. Oh, yay. Okay. This one is, let me find the nose. It is Chip. Okay. So you can tell the difference between Chip and Dale because Chip has a black nose, like a chocolate chip. And then Dale has the uh, orangish red nose. I'm not actually sure if it's an orange color or a red color, you guys. I'm, I'm so overexcited for this. And it's got this little like acorn thing in it. The acorn looks a little bit odd because, oh, I guess I put that backwards. The acorn looks a little bit odd because it has to have a stick on it so that um, the character can hold it. But it's still super, super cute, you guys. I know I should be opening the instructions and following them, but I mean, these are pretty self-explanatory. I've got an extra piece of that top of the acorn net, so I'm just going to kind of put it over here so I don't lose that. Oh, he's got his tail printed on the back. All right, so I'm going to show this up close. There we go. It's focused. And now let's spin him around. There's his little tail and his stripe. This is too, too cute. Oh, you guys. Okay, this is number eight. Oh, I'm sorry, number seven. This is number seven. Um, Dale is going to be number eight. Okay, all right. Oh, I'm so tempted to open the Unikitty and the other one, but I know they're going to be different ones, so maybe I should open those last. I'm going to open those last, so that way I'll be definitely super excited for the last couple. Okay, okay, okay. Ready, 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 ready? Okay. Oh, we got another Jack Skellington. I shouldn't be excited because it's a double, but... 
Okay. Going to assemble him. I keep getting the cape folded kind of strange. I say cape. Um, tail. Uh, coattails. <sighs> I got the second half of the word first. That's super intelligent. Okay. I got all the Little Mermaid songs stuck in my head right now. I don't know why you guys. Oh, I'm such a weirdo, I know. That's why you all love me. I'm going to put this snowflake on his head because he has a knob there and that just makes me happy. So I'm going to get some more Lego figures. I know this is taking a really long time. I'm sorry, you guys. Okay, I will get my, my act together and calm down so that I can appropriately... Now, now I'm going to be just as excited. All right, ready, ready, ready? Oh, it's one we don't have. Oh, you guys? Guys, 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 guys. It's our first female character. Okay, so we have Minnie Mouse. And this is super cool because these are the 90th anniversary edition ones. So they are the black and white editions. Oh, guys. I gotta show this piece. Look at this little hat. That is too cute. We will assemble her real quick. So that she is ready to go. How do I... Oh, there's a little... You guys, I have a Buzz Lightyear figure. And you know what this hat looks like? This hat looks like Mrs. Nesbitt's hat. Are you guys seeing a toy mod coming? I'm seeing a Lego toy mod coming, which is not something I expected to do. But I'm totally saving this extra hat piece. And I am going to paint that. And my Buzz Lightyear is about to become a Mrs. Nesbitt. And it is going to be super awesome. So this is... Oh, this is adorable. I love Minnie Mouse. I will stick her on her stand because I keep forgetting that. And then I will show you guys up close. Ah! Okay. And I'll spin her around. Guys, I'm really excited about that toy mod. It's from the first Toy Story film uh, when Buzz is in the possession of Hannah, Sid's little sister. And he is at a tea party as Mrs. Nesbitt. And he kind of snaps a little bit at this point, so he gets a little, little bit crazy. But it is a really fun part and I always I always want I want to do a cosplay of it at one point if we're gonna do a Buzz Lightyear cosplay it's gonna be a Mrs. Nesbitt it's gonna be awesome all right you guys ready oh goodness dropping heads heads will roll I'm just kidding you guys this is not the nightmare before Christmas one we can't have their heads rolling around that's crazy okay we have another Frozone so I will assemble him real quick this is actually really neat that I have an extra one of him because now I've got an extra one of these spinny stands so I can um, use it for a different character if I so desire. I want it to go out from his hands like he's shooting ice. Um, it's a little bit strange that it kind of comes back at him. I am so excited. Do you think we're getting any more different ones? I have one, two, three, four, five. I have, a, I have five left of the Disney ones plus the separate character. Uh, in the green bag and the Unikitty green bag. So hopefully I'll still get at least one additional character. Are you guys ready? Here it comes. Oh, it's another Minnie Mouse. But this also means I have another extra hat. So maybe I will make an extra Mrs. Nesbitt and give it away to someone on my channel at some point if I ever get around to making this Mrs. Nesbitt. My toy mods have been kind of stopped at the moment because of the quarantine happening, so I'm not going out and uh, purchasing a whole lot. Which is sad, but I do have some paint. I don't think I have any fabric, sadly, so I'll have to look into it, but... Oh, I'm not going to show another spin around of the Minnie Mouse because we already have her. Okay, here we go. Ready, 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 ready? Guys, 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 it's a new one. Okay. We have Dale. Oh, that's so exciting. Now we have the whole set of the Chip and Dale. We really need the red uh, duck, you guys. So we can have Huey, Dewey, and Louie. I mean, they go everywhere together, right? This one is a slightly simpler build. I'm not really sure why he comes with a sack. I, I guess it's supposed to be maybe like a sack of acorns or something. I'm not entirely certain what that was meant to be but i will show you guys this little cutie up close so as you can see his nose is the reddish orange color so he is dale 
If it was black, it would be the um, chocolate chip nose, which would be Chip's nose, of course. And I will just real quick show you these guys together. They actually are a slightly... All right, hold on. It's having a hard time focusing because it's trying to figure out if it should show the figures or my face. Okay, um, I'll, I'll get my face out of the frame. I'm sorry. Okay, so um, they're actually slightly different colors. Uh, the Dale is a lighter brown color and he comes with a separate accessory. So that is pretty fun that they actually changed those details. Also, their tails stick out at opposite directions here. So that is super cute as well okay we have three more we have three more i think we can totally get two different ones that we haven't gotten at least right right at least two uh, i think we got this okay here we go let's see what we got okay 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 i really hope that the last one the last disney one that i open is a new one that would be really <gasps> you guys we got jasmine okay 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 i'm really excited Ooh, okay here's our first human female oh, jasmine has the coolest outfit. I forgot to put her head on. That would be bad. I guess I didn't show you guys the pieces up close, but I got too overexcited. Wow, her hair is weird. Okay, sorry guys. This is the first time I've seen hair like this. Her hair is made out of a sort of like silicone rubber thing, and it's kind of squishy. I can, I can maneuver it, which is odd, but super cool this figure actually has a lot of detail on her sadly they didn't put a little stick or anything so she can't hold the bird well, it, sh it shows her holding the bird maybe she can hold the bird I wonder if her hand fits underneath this circle piece or in the circle piece I'm not I'm not really sure you guys maybe they just balanced it on her hand <laughs> I don't know it doesn't fit over her entire hand. Okay, you guys, I don't know, so I'm going to move her over a knob here and put the bird so that you guys can see that. And she does actually have a lot of detail on her. You can see all of her jewelry is in here, including her crown, her earrings, her necklace, and she's even got her uh, little side sleeves here printed on her arms which is fun because not many of the minifigures have details printed on the arms there's her hair ties in there as well and she's actually got an extra hole on top of her head it's really hard to see sorry there it is um and so you could put another accessory in her hair which is really fun maybe you could put a bow or something of that sort now she doesn't wear one normally which is why she didn't come with an extra accessory but i'm big on bows you guys <laughs> may have noticed in some of my videos i usually have a bow and i've got a big uh Peter Pan one. This isn't really obnoxious one. I usually don't wear this one out very often, but I figured for this video it would be fun, especially because I've got the Disney castle, and that always makes me think Tinkerbell flying around it, which then, of course, I had to Peter Pan it up. You know how it is. Okay. Guys, 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 I'm so excited. Okay. Do you think we're going to get two different, dif two different ones from the ones that we have, or two doubles, or one double and one different? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? I think totally two different ones because I have a super positive, hopeful attitude. Okay, are you guys ready? Here we go. What is it? What is it? Oh, you guys, it's a new one. Oh, excited. Oh, it's Hercules. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. <laughs> I love all of the Disney characters, so I'm probably going to be pretty stoked about whoever it is. Oh, he's got his little, his little sword in here and his shield. Oh, you guys, you guys, you guys. Okay. <gasps> guys, he has two faces. Try to get this close up. He's got his smiling face and his oh no face. I like his oh no face like he's trying to strain and lift something intensive or he's in battle. All warrior like. Oh, this hair piece is really cool. I'll let you guys see more detail on it when I show you up close. Ooh, there is a way he can hold his shield. That's super cool the little things in life you know guys because they're mini pigs <laughs> anyway <laughs> anyway <laughs> um all right and he does come with an extra little sword here but i'm just going to put that to the side for now get him on his little stand and i will show you up close what we're looking at check it out check it out check it out oh i love that shield with the uh cloud and the lightning bolt that's definitely a straight from Zeus kind of shield but look at his hairpiece how fun is that with all the little wavy details and whatnot 
going around here he's even got his little bracelets in and he's got some details on his pant legs and his sandals that are uh, they're not actually separate pieces but they're um what i painted in he's got his headband in his hair i mean this is this is super cool and i'll i'll move his uh shield for a moment here and his sword so you can see the detail inside of his chest um and pants so that is super super cool you guys okay okay you guys i only have three left and i'm gonna do my last disney one and i am so nervous and just excited and sad all at the same time because i'm excited because we're gonna get one more figure and then i'm sad because then i'm done you know with the disney figures until i totally go to the store and you know buy more look i have issues all right do you guys think that our very last one is going to be a different character i hope so i really hope so i hope um okay let's see who i want it to be hold on um i really want either the mickey or the hades i think those would be really cool to have okay here oh also hercules was number 14 if you guys are collecting these and know their numbers all right ready 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 here it is guys it's mickey it's mickey oh excited 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 okay that is so awesome one that it was a different figure and two that it oh, oh, oh he's got the little the little buttons on his pants sorry um, one that it was a, uh, a different figure, and two that it was one that I was especially hoping for, so that is super, super exciting! Oh, oh this is such an adorable little hat. Unfortunately, he doesn't come with an extra hat, so I can't mod his hat for someone else, but his hat is pretty strange, because this is from uh, Steamboat Willie, so it's got a sort of steamboat-esque shape here. Um, and it's a little strange. I don't know who else would have a hat that would be something like that that I could nod. Here we go. Minnie and Mickey together. That is adorable. I am so excited. So we got the Minnie and Mickey set. We got the Chip and Dale set. Show those up close together real quick. So I think we did pretty good, honestly, on the blind bags. And these are fairly cheap um, because they're just the minifigure. But I super love these and they're probably all going into my Toy Story Worlds to play or my Toy Story Toys are coming to them to play. They'll probably all go to the carnival. <gasps> what if you went to a carnival as a Toy Story toy and then you met all of the other Disney characters? That would be super awesome. Okay, well that's going to happen later. I might make a video of it if you guys are interested. But in the meantime, we got two more. Okay, I don't know which one I should open first. I think there is actually a Unikitty TV show that I have not gotten into yet, so I don't know a whole lot about it. Now this one, there are 16 to collect, and it is series 19. Are you ready, ready? Here it comes. Oh, oh my goodness. What is this? Oh, it's a rugby ball. Okay, so I got a rugby player. Interesting. It's kind of neat that he's a sports figure that isn't a common... Well, isn't as common of a sport he's not a football player you know which is what i was kind of expecting to see in the set oh this is super cute okay his face oh he's got two faces he's got wow well, okay he's got his happy face before he starts playing and then he's got his face afterwards this is, guys this is a very violent sport um i've got a, a buddy who used to play this and there's all sorts of, uh, all sorts of medical damage, you know, but look at his ouch face. He looks, he's missing a tooth. He's got a black eye. He, uh, had a bit of a rough game, but he did wear his helmet, so he didn't get a concussion. Oh, this is super cute. Okay, so on the ball, it's got sort of a handle in here that the minifigure can hold, and then it says rugby and supreme rugby supreme on the ball i know it wasn't focusing very well on my camera and i apologize for that so here he is and there's his little football and i put i like his uh ouch face better and he's even got details on the back including 
how his shirt is wrinkling there so that is super cute and he's got some stripes on the bottom of his pants as well super adorable also some patches and things on the front so set him over here and let's get our unikitty out oh um if you guys wanted to know let's see which one would i have wanted to get see the only problem is i can't open the blind pack i guess i could have reached in and tried to grab the paper before i dumped the thing ah okay i'll do that for this one but i think um the the guy with the rubber duck is super fun because i just have a thing for rubber ducks um that's a blast so I think maybe I like the rubber duck one. I think it's pretty fun. But this, oh, this Indiana Jones character with the uh, Pascal, I shouldn't say that, uh, the, ch the uh, chameleon uh, in Rapunzel, his name is Pascal, that's why I said that, but um, he comes with a little chameleon and a magnifying glass that's also super adorable. Oh, but they got the firefighter. And then they got this uh, monkey warrior character and a knight. Okay, you know what? I just need them all. And this is this is how they get you with the blind packs because you need them all. You gotta have them. This is actually how they get you with Lego minifigures in general. I don't know how many they've made to date. Uh, way 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 too many, you guys. All right, so I'm gonna try to reach in here, and since I don't know what they look like, it's gonna be better. There's like two bags in here. All right, I got the thing. So I'm gonna try to open it so that I don't see the instructions. I see. Oh, really? Okay, well, this is what I see. Um, I thought it was going to show me all... Oh, okay. Good, it does show me all of them. <laughs> Alright, and it doesn't show me instructions, but I guess it'll be pretty self-explanatory. Okay, super cool. I'm going to show up close. These are the ones that you can get. Look at all these crazily designed unikitties. Okay, this makes me want to kind of go watch the show now. I don't know if it's going to be any good or if it's going to be really annoying, because I remember the unikitty in the movie had a really high-pitched voice, which was a little too much for me, but here we go. Oh, it's not two bags. The bag was folded over. That's why it felt strange. Okay, I feel better about that. Alright, uh, it looks like it is... It's a camouflage one, so it's number eight. Let's get her open and built. Man, this really should have come with instructions is how I feel about this, but I guess I'm going to look at the picture and try to build it from this. So she's got the dark green and the light blue. And the other side, she's got two gray. <clears throat> <clears throat> and then she's got a green thing for her neck whoops and the tail piece of course okay that's that's kind of a fun piece they probably designed that piece specifically for the unikitties which is fun um all right then there should be this piece okay 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 i'm learning here we go then we got the eye piece now we're gonna have a headband in here Oh, there actually is camouflage on the front of this headband here. That's super cute. Sadly, it's not on all sides, but that's all right, I suppose. Okay, then these are her ears. And she needs uh, a unicorn horn, obviously. It's a unikitty. <laughs> And then she needs the actual horn. Okay, so it looks like there are some extra pieces and that's why it looked a little bit overwhelming, but we've got an extra neck piece, uh, three extra, I don't know, foot pieces, I guess, an extra horn and horn connector and an extra ear. So lots of extras in this little set, but it's kind of cute because maybe you could make a another, uh, another one. And she only does have one face, but this is super cute. Look at her guys. Okay, that's really fun. Okay, I probably am going to need to get more blind packs now because I, this was a lot more fun than I was expecting it to be. Ugh, ugh, me and my toy addiction, guys. It's terrible. You know you love it. Okay, what did you guys think of all of these minifigures? Do you guys collect any of the Lego minifigures? Which ones do you have? Which ones are you hunting? Have you actually managed to collect an entire set of any of them without... I guess buying an exorbitant amount, um, you know, like a hundred to ke collect 15 or in something like that. I don't know. I don't know how many you have to purchase to do it. I guess it just kind of depends on luck and where you get them and how they were mixed up. So I don't know. I think it gets harder the more you have because you only, you're only looking for one or two more, but oh, I'm feeling anxious 
for me and you guys and anyone hunting because I know that some people get really really into this and will get every single blind pack until they find that one more that they're missing so um I don't know if I will be able to have the patience for something like that uh but I wouldn't mind getting more with the unikitties it really doesn't matter about having doubles because they can be in herds do unicorns travel in herds oh here let me let me get all my all my dudes up in here. And that is so exciting. All right, so here is what we have unboxed today. Today we unboxed 16 Disney figures as well as a yellow pack figure and one of the Unikitty figures. So we knew um, each of those were going to be separate ones, but there are 18 different Disney figures to collect and we got 11 different ones which out of 16 packages I think is pretty good. Here's what we got as far as multiples. Um, now I did start with a Jafar but I don't really count him as the blind box unpackaging because I, I didn't unpack him. I got him from a friend. So if you don't consider him the most we got of any repeat figure was two, which is incredibly low, and I'm impressed for blind bags. That's, um, that's super awesome. Each one of these, there's one, two, three, four, five doubles, but each is only a double. I mean, I don't have any triples, quadruples, uh, quintuplets, anything of that sort, and I really thought there would be a lot more, so I am super impressed and excited about that. There you go. Sorry, I'm trying to kind of get my face out of it so that it, fo it focuses in on the figures. We got several complete sets as well. So here is Minnie and Mickey. Super, super cute. Then there is Jafar and Jasmine. Here's Jafar and Jasmine. Again, super adorable. Uh, these aren't really a set, but here's my two ice guys. I've got Jack Skellington and Frozone. So we have Chip and Dale. And of course, Chip has the black nose and Dale has the reddish-orange nose. And then we have two of the ducks. So, uh, this one, the blue one is Dewey and the green one is Louie. I did phone a friend on that one. Uh, Huey is the red duck, or no duck dressed in red, and then we've got Hercules. So I'm missing seven different figures. So what you need to do and what I need to do is convince all of my friends and family members to start collecting these. So that way when they get a double and I have a double, that neither of us has, we can trade them and complete our collections that way. Um, so that's kind of a big community building thing, which is kind of neat for LEGO to do. Um, I know it's cheesy for me to be excited about that. All right, <laughs> I'll catch you next time. Please subscribe, share this video with your friends, and check out my toy reviews on my channel, as well as full written reviews on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below, and have a fantastic time playing. Bye!